All right, so the clock's ticking now. Let's see, where are we on the map right now? I forgot, I gotta remember where we left off last time. So we're trying to get into the irrigation system of some kind. This place is called the Overgrown Building, right? Yeah. Oh, is there enemies off to my side? Let's take a look. Oh yeah, those are some baddies over there. Oh. Oh, hello. That was slightly surprising. Hey guys. Here comes the There's a fight. Should probably take these guys out before anything happens. Ooh. It looks like I, some of them got damaged by me setting off that explosion on accident. Which was totally on purpose. I totally planned that, as you can tell. Obviously. Where's my character located? Is he about to shoot his teammate if he goes if he shoots in this direction? Cause that'd be a bummer. Come on, don't hit your teammate. There we go. No second shot this time. Let's try to get clear of our teammates a little bit. There we go. Good, back in the mindset of playing this game again. You're getting condescending, Mr. Mrs. Death. Uh, we were doing just fine without you before. I'm, we're glad to have you along for the ride, but you're not that much lower than the rest of our team. What is that gross thing? Hit it with things. Oh, I can't hit it from here. It's too far away. Huh. Wait, I don't want to block his line of sight. But I want to be near him, though, to defend him if I need to. Alright, can we hit anybody? Nope. It tried to target my teammates. Alright, so, ideally I would get like a finishing blow in there, right? Let's get to the edge. We've got a time limit to operate in now. Oopsie! And my attack probably costs too much now to shoot. I didn't move into range. My mistake. Okay, fine. I can do... Ambush. There we go. So if they walk into my range, go blap blap. Oh! Works better if you hit. Oh well. It happens. Oh, there's more maggots off in the distance. But we need to get this res situation resolved as best we can so that we don't, uh, turn into pod people anytime soon. That would be bad for us, as it turns out. Anyone particularly wounded? I'm actually not doing great. Maybe I should just throw a quick... First of all, target my team. Then to target me. Oops. There we go. Pain relievers, pocket med pack, small. Let's do pain relievers on myself real quick. There we go. That'll help out. And back off a bit. Don't be a target. Yeah, we have a time limit in which to behave. 86%, 71%. Oh, so much for that. So much for that. 90%, that's pretty good. There we go. You're figuring out how to operate. You know what you're doing. Killing not a killing blow, okay. I can snipe that guy, 100%, or, the, or that guy, 96%, or that guy hasn't been hurt yet. Seems like the obvious choice. And now we're, we're out of mana again. I mean, a attack, yeah, AP. Alright. Probably just stay put for the moment. Let them approach us a bit. Owie. I try not to get killed by the pestilence, guys. Cooperate. Alright. Uh... Do I want to get slap happy with that guy? Is he going to blow up like some of the other enemies do? I'm not entirely clear. This guy's really far away. Let's go hit him. In the face! In the dumb maggoty face! Oh, they don't explode. Good to know. Oh, that thing exploded, though. I... I set off an explosion that killed the fly. And I don't think it hurt me. I think it only hurt the fly. That's pretty good luck right there. Alright, so now we can level up our beloved sniper once again. He's now level 6. Gives him more skill points. He's got 3 points now. Do I want to just keep saving more sniper up at this point? It just seems like a handy thing to do, but outdoorsmen can also be helpful against some of these challenge situations. Um, I might just save up on him getting better accuracy, just because... His accuracy kind of blows after, like, the first two rounds. Yeah. The nice thing about skill points is you don't have to spend them right away. Just in general. Which is nice. What do we get? Stuff. More junk. Congratulations, everybody. 
Our reward is more junk. How do you feel about more junk? Uh, the battered wire fence that surrounds the area has nothing on the barbed vines that swallowed it whole. Those thorns are as big as daggers. Alright. I feel like giant dagger-sized thorns would actually be less effective at being thorns. Like, they might not even be stabby at that point. They'd just be excessive. Okay, first of all, we have an injured party here. Let's try to help him out. Small... Small med pad. Oh shit, no, stop. Damn it. I keep forgetting I have to manually make sure I'm just. Who am I selecting right now? I can't see the party very well. Oh, that's the right character, I think. Yeah. Let's heal up our our pistol friend. He's getting low. There we go. Everyone's A-OK. -okay. Hey, explosions. Let's just run past these real quick. Oh god. Everybody hurry. Quickly. Oh yeah, they're exploding back there. Did we get out of range? No one's saying that they're getting hurt. Oh, pod plant hit uh, Angela a little bit. Angela Death. A name that sounds like Angel of Death. Oh, nope, can't go in there. This was just a long hallway full of exploding pods and not a whole lot of friendliness. Oh, hello. Um, I feel like there's an obvious way to... Oh, crap. Nope. Damn it. Oh. I pressed the wrong button and then also something exploded. My bad. Did it blow somebody up? Um, no one looks super hurt. I don't know if it hit anybody. Ooh, that's awkward. I'm in point blank range right now. Um, change weapons real quick. Does that cost me AP to even do that? I don't even, I'm not sure. Attack. No precision strikes on, on pod people. Blow him away. There we go. There's some damage. All right, let's just get some distance now. He's just gonna get hurt at that close range anyway. All right. Who's up next? Angela Death. Any other enemies in the area, or is it just the one? Oh yeah, there's, there's other enemies, but they're far away. There we go. Ideally, we get some people away from the enemy before it explodes, just to avoid being caught in its area of effect. Here come the flies. Ow. Rude. Ow. Rude. Sally's gonna mess people up. Alright, so Sally doesn't want to fight the pod person because he'll blow up. Man, they hit really well. I don't like how accurate they are. They need to stop that. 68% chance I'll take it because it's not a pod person. Nope. Not so lucky. Alright, Mr. Akimbo. Let's try to get this guy. No ammo. Shit. I, forgot I should really reload between fights better. My bad. Come on. Oh, damn it. I'm trying to get him before he gets into melee range with somebody, but now it's probably going to happen. Actually, no, he doesn't have a turn for a while, huh? Alright, uh, 68%, I'll take it. Weapon jam. Oh, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch, that's my whole turn. Alright, let's get some distance a little bit. I can't move either, okay. It's a bad time all around, so what's going on here? Uh, shotgun powers? That's better. But I have to reload, which uses my turn up. God damn it. <laughs> At least he missed. Uh, you could shoot him, but everyone's in melee range with him, so we probably shouldn't do that. You should probably go move up here. And shoot at some flies. Oh, no ammo. I really need to remember to reload between fights. I'm a screw up, apparently. Alright. Mr. Sniper, tempting. Surely you can target someone else, though. Because he's going to blow up our, on our team if I shoot him. Meanwhile, somebody else could probably get him afterwards. Let's move forward a little bit. Get someone else in range if I can. 39%. 35%. That's not a great percentage at all. Let's see. Shoot. Take 6 AP to shoot. We get a little closer, maybe. Seventy-five percent. That's better. Oh right, I'm using. <laughs> I forgot to switch away from his uh, assault weapon. I was like, why is he so bad at sniping all of a sudden? That's never happened before. I gotta remember when I switch weapons like that. And double check and all that. Come on, hit him this time. Come on, man. That is statistically improbable that you would fail that many times. That's your whole turn, really? That's a bummer. Let's back up a little bit. 
trying to be directly inside of the range of the attack of this guy. There we go. He had to waste his whole turn catching up. Lucky. Plus one AP. Cool. Um, Angela's right there, though, which is not great. Might have to just take the best I can get, though, at this point. Unless I want to run forward. Uh, Angela? Yeah, a lot of other people have a turn before that guy does, so they can try to t get that killing shot on him. Meanwhile, you can cover some ground to la land some attacks on this, on this fly over here. There we go. Alright, Angela. Try to get this guy. There we go. Nice, solid hit. Alright, now you can back off. And hopefully kill this guy this turn, right? Fuck. The gun's jammed. Forgot about that detail. Alright. Maybe if I back up a little bit? Still, still likely to hit the enemy. But maybe with it less... Oh, I'm gonna hurt myself. Let's see. How do I adjust the cone of the attack? There we go. There we go. Now I won't hurt my teammate. Got him. Did anyone take hit? I took 8 damage, but no one else did? Cool. Oh no, I hit the pod person and they took damage. I didn't take any damage. Cool. I successfully got out of that without harming the team. It's probably hard. Let's probably hurt. Uh, try to help out with this person a little bit if I have the AP for it. Because they're, har they're harmed. Oh, I, hurt I healed myself. Wow. Got thrown off by the fact that they were glowing. And completely screwed up again. I'm pretty bad at the uh, telling who I'm targeting sometimes. Alright, we're running dry. That means we have fewer actions. Number one target. Um, swap weapons real quick. 76% chance of hitting. Try to make a count. At this point, Sally's probably going to take the hit. I'm just trying to get the rest of the team to not be involved if I can. Alright, Sally. Let's see if you can self-sabotage properly here. Sorry. Ow. Owie. Ow. Now run away. Somebody else deal with the actual problem over here. Alright, Sally. I mean, not Sally, Death. So she hits low percentage hits, but no one else can hit high percentage hits. Fine. Alright. Everybody freaking reload this time. There we go. And let's go heal Sally. Because it needs to happen. Now that the gruesome pot is no longer there, there is just a spiky, creepy monster plant. Small fragments of goopy ve uh, vegetable matter lie around it. Dolores Young is using a pocket medic pack on Scary Sally. <laughs> gotta, gotta hit up myself a little bit. So... Okay, she has a bunch of, he a bunch of pocket packs. Cool. I was worried that we might be running low or something. This time, when we leveled up, uh, Mr. Pistols. Who's right over here. He's at level 6, so he's gonna have two more skill points. Oops. Alright, two, two skill points. Do I go for Mechanical Repair? That would give us Handyman. Let's see if that's a cool perk to have access to or not. Do, 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 do. Got it, what, can pass it? Handyman. Uh, no critical failures when using Mechanical Repair. Ooh! That could be handy. Well, there's a lot of other things I could get for combat purposes too, but yeah, if I was doing mechanical repair and I just had like a guaranteed success, that'd be pretty great. The alternative is to get more handgun ammo and get more handgun for another 6% hit chance. Ah, uh, Torn. Uh, I won't be able to buy the perk anyway for a while. I think I'm gonna wait and try to go for handguns next level just because the uh, that hit percentage it is a pretty big deal. Uh, speci specifically for a character where every single hit makes my critical chance and hit chance stack up more and more. So having a, a, a good base hit to get the ball rolling at the beginnings, really handy. Let's see here, anything to investigate around here? No. Nope. See, we just had a, a few fights, so let's do a quick save. Because that's how you play this kind of game. We've got junk. Junk. I love junk. I've never been more excited in my life. Um, examine? You don't build a wall unless you're trying to keep something out. What do you- 
Or, or you just don't want people to wander directly into their plants. Oh my god, that is a giant pumpkin. Oh, that's gonna blow up. Didn't see that at first. Is there another one over there? There is. There's expl exploding things everywhere around here. Let's see. No one get blown up on? Cool. Let's see. There's a lot of go there's a lot going on over here. Uh, seems like doing that set off an attached- uh, we read that before. The front door is to the facility. It looks like somebody recently used a chainsaw to clear away the choking foliage that blocked them, but it's already growing back. If you don't go in soon, you might not get in at all. The door looks like the maw of some massive green monster, waiting to swallow you down. But if you want to find the satellite dish, you're going to have to go in. Seems like... Uh, there's another comment about the trap again. Oopsie. Sorry. What about this thing over here? Staggering. Uh, these peppers are growing so fast you can hear their skin stretching. That's creepy. It probably sounds like a balloon. Alright, let's check this front door. Let's go inside. What's the worst that could happen besides all of our deaths? Actually, did I- do I see- do I see the entrance anywhere? From this angle, it's actually a little hard to see. Like, where's the door? Go ahead and- oh, there it is. Found it. Alright, cool. Oh, shit! I thought that one blew up already. Well, I'm an idiot. Nine points of damage for free. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. I t I- <laughs> So many of them blew up in the area, I just thought that I'd already blown them all up, and I just completely was stupid again. I'm good at that. Central complex, let's go. Where are you, you bastards? Dr. Patrick's here. We have a person? It's taking so long. Vines snake through the walls, crush desks, and eviscerate the corpses littering the, the entry. This used to be a buzzing administration building. Now the buzzing is a lot more... Sinister. Rangers, at last. Didn't know how much longer I could hang on. Seriously, there's no way this guy should be alive. He's riddled with gunshots. There's more blood outside of him than inside. You don't know what's keeping him conscious. Please, help me. The insects attacked me. I need medical attention. My chest. You have to close my wounds. Your wounds look pretty severe. I know they look bad, but I, I'm a doctor. I know they're survivable. If you operate now, please, hurry. Wait, Rangers, I've got more. one more thing to say. Death to the Ag Center, death to the Rangers- Oh, shit. Oh, shit. My bad. Oh, shit. Oh. Damn. He's dangerous. My mistake. Uh, I guess I could have gotten more information out of him. Probably. I was about. I was. I was exiting the conversation so I could try to treat his wounds. But he's. He's not interested in getting his wounds treated because he's a horrible mind-controlled pod person thing, and he's full of bullets because other people were shooting him, and he's still alive for reasons. Shoot him in the face. Shoot him in the face harder. Oh, we're out of AP again. Uh, back away a little bit. Alright, do we have a clear line of sight here? I'm a little worried. It takes 4 AP. Let's get a slightly better angle real quick. I can spend 2 AP moving. Here we go. Take the shot. He's riddled with bullets. Let's see how many more we can put in him. Oh my god, he has frequent turns for a lot of- and he's very strong. This guy's a dick. Hit him in the face. Hit him in the face, but harder now? Oh, you're out of AP. Crap. Um... Get behind this wall a little bit? <laughs> that, you took a lot of damage, Sally. Damn. Alright, Mr. Akimbo, take it. For the future! Wow. That was a big explosion. Um... So I think if anyone hadn't been infected yet, they were gonna get infected there, because that just happened. Uh... Let's see, there's a lot of text here. A lot of text here. Uh, in a flash of blue-white fire, Larson explodes, sending blood, viscera, and bone shrapnel everywhere. You've never seen an explosion that of that color before. Dr. Patrick Larson says, for the future. And... ooh. 
That was a weird order for the text to go in. It, the attack on him that made him blow up in the first place is shown later. Uh, the explosion hurts a lot of people for like 9 damage each. Yep. A a a Angela Death said, What the fuck? What was that about? We're having a bad day overall. Not a, not a great time to be us. Wow. Yeah, I initiate. I let. I exited that conversation early because I was specifically, very specifically. Wait, what? No, not lock picking. How do I? I want, there we go. I want. I want to. I want. Damn it! I'm trying to heal people. You stupid medic. Why are you giving that? Giving that guff. Stop. Shut up about the lock picking. What's going on? Why can't I do anything? I guess I'll go do lock picking so that it stops telling me to do that. Also, to collect his body. Oh. We got armor for two plus two plus two armor. Uh, handgun, semi-automatic. Send that over to him so we can compare him later. Let's see healing stuff. Uh, history of the Ag Center Part One. A few typewritten pages stuffed in a Manila envelope labeled Ag Center History. There are a lot of X's and penciled in corrections on the pages. Junk. Naughty nuns issue number seventy-four. Meet Sister Tiffany. She's hot for preacher. <laughs> Mother Superior says you're inferior. Junk in vino veritas. He had a lot of stuff on his body, by the way. Like a lot, a lot. Sort of let those all go where they need to go. Alright, let's go to... Here's the documents. Uh, History of X Center Part 1. I reckon now that we're getting settled in and the place is starting to run itself, this is as good as a times any to put down what I've learned about the Ag Center in my few years here. I can't say this is a full history or anything, but if I don't write it down, I don't know who will. The Ag Center didn't start as an agricultural center. Before the war, it was a satellite relay facility used by the military. Though heck if I know what exactly for, the place was secret enough not to be hit when the bombs fell, and the old satellite dish still remain stands intact. From records I found in old filing cabinets, it seems that after the end, the soldiers and researchers stationed here joined up with nearby farmers at the agricultural station who had, always, who had also survived the war relatively unscathed. The farmers' knowledge of planting and husbandry combined with the researchers' organizational skills and the soldiers' tactical training soon made Ag Center one of the most thriving communities in the wastes. But then things got a little weird. The fallout from the bombs was changing the wasteland in many ways, and Ag Center was no exception. Kathy tells me that the early farmers could have tried countering the mutations that were affecting the plants with selective breeding, but instead they decided to ride the wave of weirdness, selecting for bigger and bigger, hardier mutations to get better yields, which is how we've come to, to have tomatoes the size of cantaloupes and cantaloupes the size of beer barrels. For most of its existence, Ag Center was led by an old farmer everybody called the Old Man. Though his real name might have been Miguel. He must have been a hundred when he must have been a hundred when Vargas, Thrasher, and Angela and Hell Razor came a calling, fresh faced and eager to help. But why did the Ag Center need help? Well, mutations ain't just all roses and giant carrots. Around about that time, the center was invaded by hordes of giant rabbits. Who were just as happy eating people as they were the crops. It was a serious problem, made worse by the attacks being seemingly coordinated by some crazy old coot called Harry and the Bunny Harry the Bunny Master. I swear to God, I'm not making this up. It wasn't pretty, but the Rangers took care of Harry and drove off enough of the rabbits to allow Miguel and his men to take back control of the facility. It was down. It was the dawn of a bright new era for the Ag Center, but sad to say, Miguel didn't get to see it. Not too long after Vargas and co. had moved on, the old man disappeared. Lots of wild theories out there about how and why. Some say he was taken away by the vegetable spirits. Others claim he was eaten by a carnivorous strawberry. I think he just wandered off with his goals accomplished. I would have liked to have met him, though. Seems like he was my kind of guy. Without him, without him, Accenter was doing okay, but it was lacking the leadership to really put all the noses in the same direction. Brilliant, though a lot of the scientists here are, they're not the most pragmatic sort. So one day, a few years into my stint with the Desert Rangers, I found my thoughts turning to the Ag Center while recuperating from a bullet wound, and started thinking 
What a great blessing it was to the way the waste the old place could be if it was run right. I hauled myself here as soon as I recovered, and I've been here ever since. I hope I've done more good than bad since. Uh, since when I... Uh, yeah. At, I thought I just lost my line at first. Uh, at least the place is more secure now than when I arrived, and... We we had traveling we have trading deals in a place with high high pool and and the rail nomads, which puts us and many of the other communities around here in a better position as far as food and water are concerned. Trade and communities supporting one another has been one of the hardest things to nail down since the war, and you can see how much everyone benefits. We get water from high pool, transportation from the rail nomads, and they all get food from us, as do many others. Now if we can just. Keep uh, keep it all stable. Arizona will really start going places. As for Ag Center, it's maybe still a bit more of a hodgepodge than I hoped. We're still more of a group of strangers working together than true community. But with the oddball minds I have to work around work with here, I swear, if Honeydew starts uh, uh, starts on me about his melons one more time, I, I guess it's the best we can do. And heck, it's pretty good. And now there's a, and then you leave that menu and you see the giant pool of blood that exploded everywhere. And that's a funny juxtaposition, if I do say so myself. So you're the thing that lot that's openable with lock boxes. Wasn't there something I could open with, with lock picking? Oh, now I have my whole thing back. Okay, cool. That's fixed at least. Let's start healing these characters that are quite harmed because that explo that uh that guy was very dangerous for whoever he chose to attack, which was a lot of people. Let's see here. A yeah, year low on health 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 too. Let's heal up Sally. Desperately needs to happen. That went really poorly. It's a good thing I've been stocking up on so many uh, healing supplies all all around, because clearly we need them now. Um. Who am I targeting right now? Oh, you're good. you're still a good target, actually. <gasps> Sigh. <laughs> Just let me do it, okay? Shut up. I would. Oh wait. Oh crap. Did I use the wrong? Um. No, Dolores used the medicine. All right, I accidentally went to the wrong character for a moment there. Vines snake through the walls, crush desks, and eviscerate the corpses littering the entry. We've already said that before, huh? Yeah, the, the sinister sinister buzzing. Why do you want to talk about lockpicking so badly? God, stop it. Stop doing that. Here, lockpick the fucking thing already. What do you want? If I open it, will you stop talking to me about it? There. Leave me alone. What is wrong with you? What is up? No, tar target PCs? I... I'm really baffled right by, right now by the controls in this game. Like, my whole radial wheel is just gone. All the things on my wheel aren't showing up, and that's the only way I can access, say, healing my party. Um, a corner, a corner office. What a view! A nice board, a notice board, and the one on the bottom left says, "Please, only four strawberries per box. We can't afford another hernia around here." Still doesn't say I can do anything. I'll just keep checking periodically so I can try to heal my party. The researcher's planning board. Huh. Maybe they lost their funding. Every single piece of <clears throat> every single piece of paper on this cork board says exactly the same thing. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. There's a reference if there was ever been one. Wow. Ag Center's accountant sat here. The current crisis may incur some unscheduled costs. There they're just jokes all around today, aren't they? Every little corner is an excuse for another joke. Alright, they're committing to it. Can I go through this door? It's already open. Oh, can I open that thing over here? Oh. Apparently not. What's this thing over here? A door. No, not the door. This No, the thing. The, damn it. <laughs> There's too many things close to each other, apparently. Complete set of the Encyclopedia Botanica. Plus assorted... Biographies of uh, famous vegetables. What? So they're going full joke for sure now. I don't think the Encyclopedia Botanica exists. I'm sure it's a parody of, of Britannica, like a pun. This looks like it might have been an industrial laundry, 
now it's beyond cleaning. Holy shit. There's a the jokes are they're trying so hard for the jokes right now fragments of couches chairs and tables can be seen beneath a canopy of tendrils barbs and other nasty looking vegetation this is weird i don't think any other part of this game has been so consistently trying to throw a joke in with every single thing i look at it's almost it's almost weird now is that an experiment or lunch this is either a tub full of dirty dishes or an experimental mold farm still can't access my actual skills now Yeah, I don't, I don't know what's going on there. Can other people access their skills? No one can access their skills. We can, we just, we're all lockpickers and nothing else all of a sudden. How nice, a conversation nook. This machine sounds like it has hiccups. Oh, explodey spot. Is there going to be a, let's see, free roam mode? Oops. That's what I was going for. Trying to keep an eye out for enemy monsters. Currently looks safe to approach, more or less. Grab that real quick. Can I use my skills now? Yay! It works again! Weird. So weird. I don't understand why that's happening. Okay, let's try to heal up my heart, my injured party. Oops, gotta pick the character first. Low hit point character, there we go. The vulture took a hit bad. There you go. Now we're doing okay. Now, now Sally can take points again. Oh god. Guys, get away. Get away, guys. There we go. Yay, it exploded on nobody. My favorite place for things to explode. Not me. Oh, okay. Everyone run. We're just gonna commit to it. We're just gonna keep going. Oh, did that one hit me? Ah, wasn't able to escape them as as well as I thought. What's in the crate? Ammo and junk. All right, I'll take it accordingly. This place is very explodey around here. All right, well we have a, a sharpshooter we can use here. See, ideally we would cause the enemies to come after us first. Bam. Fly taken down immediately. Did that explosion hurt us? Pod person immediately. Blah blah. I don't see anything about the explosion hurting us. I don't think it necessarily did. I have one target, looks like, and a clear shot, hopefully, because I just took a shot a moment ago. Oh, still alive. Stop, stop doing that thing where you live. It's annoying. Only one target, right? Yep, just that one. There we go. Let's go ahead and, and fan out a little bit so we're not all standing in a line together. Among other re reasons, because we can get a clear line of sight for attack reasons. Get the melee guy out front a little bit. But let the uh, enemies approach first, hopefully. Do I just try to shoot them as they approach? Let's do that. Let's go over here. And we'll ambush. Here they come. Ambush triggered, right? Yep. Bam. How you feeling? Stacking up that psychopath stat. Oh, they're gonna blow up though. Ooh. Fun could be had here. So you're the one standing over here. But go over here a little bit. Just to make sure that no it attack unavailable. Why? Why is attack unavailable? How much AP does it cost to shoot this thing? It costs more than seven to shoot it? Wow. Oh, wait, no, no. Wait, does it say I can do it now? Now it does say I can do it. Okay, so now I can attack. This interface is weird sometimes. I'm trying to specifically not hit my party. Let's see, can I hit the other guy too? Seems like I'm not hitting my ally right there. I might hit the enemy. Not so much. The explosion happened though, which is the fun part. The explosion probably did more damage. Probably hurt myself a bit too. See, any AP left? A little bit. Let's back away. Can't reload. Alright, you have a clean shot. Take it. There we go. And that's all you can do. Bummer. We're back to death. Try to finish it off. 
Yay! Going for it. Did it explode on anybody? Uh, looks like it didn't explode on anybody. That's pretty good luck. And three shots per turn. That's all around a victory for me. Alright, I have a 100% chance of shooting them. Please don't hit my teammate. We got it. And it hurt Sally. As expected, basically. Alright. Yet another level up opportunity. Our, our, our uh, character's abilities to level up has gotten really scattered at this point. Alright, so Sally's level has 6 AP now. So I can make her better at healing, or better at shotguns. Am I blinking on what I was saving up for now? Crap. Um, I mean, healing makes sense just to be better at healing in general, because that's her role. But I also might have been going for shotguns to do a better job there. Uh, weapon smithing's handy too, because I, I, I've already encountered stuff that requires rank 3 of that. Let's go field medic and weapon smithing. Level 7 already, damn. Alright. Off to a good start in this place. Ish. Kind of. Maybe not. More junk. Junk. Everything's all exploded and died around here. This just seems like a bad life strategy. Oh crap, I stood. Oh, I accidentally idled next to something that explodes. My bad. Let's reload the party. Alright, everyone should be reloaded, hopefully. And now we'll be, we'll be ready to press further in.